Hello champions and future champions. Hello chessmod family. GM Gabuzian is here with you. And in this video we are going to be having a daily lesson making pawns fix. In this position is white to move. White is having space advantage. White is having better bishop than the black one. Why white bishop is better? Because our pawn structure is located on the dark squares. Meanwhile black has pawns on the light squares and they are gonna be a big subject of an attack for our bishop in future. Here white can take on d8 and start pushing on the king side or white can try to play rook d6 keeping the pressure. All of those possibilities are great but white is having just a better choice in this position. So I will recommend you guys to pause the video and try to think how will you play for white in this position. My suggestion is rook a1 move. What's the thing that now we are forcing black to play a6 and white is going back just rook d1. What has happened? We forced black to move the pawn. Now this is a very big weakness square on b6. In future with our king we are gonna be able to advance to this side of the board. As well whenever black is having a6 play they will never be able to play b6 and try to create any kind of counterplay with pawn majority on the queen side. So we are fixing this square and now it's not really simple how to play for black. Let's say if black is trying to take and we take and black is trying to keep king on the queen side, going king d8, king b3, king c7, king a4, bishop d7 and king a5. You may say, okay, black managed to defend, but it's not gonna be the simple because black king cannot be leaving this square as king b6 is coming. Now white easily is gonna be pushing pawns on the king side. We are gonna be playing bishop h5, bishop to g6 or f7, then slowly g4 and f5. And white will be able to create a passed pawn on the king side as well. If after rook d1 black is deciding to keep the rooks on the board, let's say trying to go somewhere like rook f8. We can firstly play bishop g6 again, preventing all black kind of activities, no g5 is available. And now again white is gonna be taking this king to the queen side. As well, whenever our rook is on d1 square, black king is not even gonna be able to go to the queen side. So our king will be go to a5, b6, c7 and slowly will be cutting all black move options. So black will definitely be in a zugzwang. With this bishop it's gonna be almost impossible to survive this kind of position. So once again very strong rook a1 move at the beginning. Spoiling our opponent's pawn structure, making this pawn fixed with a6 move and only now going back rook to d1 guys. Let's now change this position for you. In this situation it's white to move again. White is having huge space advantage due to the strong pawns and white needs to make a move now. This is gonna be your goal to figure out how to play for white and you can share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. Remember the topic that you need to fix opponent's pawns on the right squares, guys. GM Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.